are all well. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I haven't posted any videos for a little while, mainly because I've had a lot of technical problems. Um, so my apologies for that. Hopefully things are, are going to be back to normal now. Um, so today we're starting a brand new series. It's um, called The Ferret Business. It's available on the Feed the Beast launcher. Um, all the details of how to get this mod pack are in the description below. But let's get straight on with it and show you what the world looks like. So I've spawned a few times just to try and get an ideal location um, and we've come up with this. Lots of greenery, which is my favourite thing in the world. Um, the world is still loading in at the moment, but I like the look of this location. Lots of horses, lots of grass, a dungeon over in the distance, <coughs> excuse me, and I think there's also a village over there as well. So um, let's open up the quest book and see where we are. It's actually called a quest tablet in this pack. Um, I'm not going to bother reading all of this to you. Um, if you choose to play this pack you can read that yourself but as you can see it's a long long paragraph the pack I believe is still under development so there will be some chains that are difficult to do at the moment but here we are let's have a quick look first task is um, oil uh, soil samples there you are good is good this is working good. I'm biologist bit C. The quest tablet scanner shows that your place is big. Big, big, yes, this is good. Can you grab me a few samples? Dirt, sand, and gravel. So we need five pieces of dirt, five pieces of sand, and one piece of gravel. So let's head towards the desert land. Minding the big hole in the ground. Got pigs, so we've got some food. Uh, come on, a bit, a little bit laggy. Yeah, there's a village there. Look, excellent stuff, excellent. So my intention in this pack is obviously to do the quests, um, but to also try and make it almost just like a normal let's play world. So you know, build a nice base and just generally take our time with things. So that is what we're gonna try and do. Now there's a lot of mods in this um, in this pack. Whoa, oh, this is some, these water things as well, God. Um, quick, let's get away from them. So yeah, lots of, oh, look, they're after me. There's lots of, um, different mobs and things in this pack that I've never ever seen before so it's going to be a big learning process but we will do this together I think I only needed one piece of gravel didn't I whoops never mind and we're going to fly oh, my nose oh we've even got a furnace built up and you got stuck in quicksand mate don't worry I will help you out I will uh, this smeltery doesn't appear to be working which is fine What's that? whoa he after, yes he's after me jeez tell you this is a bit of a bit of a violent pack oh, look, we've even got a temple wow this was an excellent spawn location. I couldn't be happier. Massive, massive tree in the background there. Just need some dirt. Let's quickly grab that. One, two, three, four, five pieces of dirt. And there we are. So we get a stone pick, a stone shovel, and two apples. Okay. Next quest. Material matters. So we need to make some wooden tools. So let's go 
chop some trees down. Um, don't really want to chop these fruit trees down, but um, where can we go? Let's go over this way a bit. Yeah, I'm liking this location. It's a uh, pretty nice location. It's good for setting up initially as well, being that there's a village. So we should all be able to get a few good resources and survive food-wise. I'm not sure. I know a lot of packs that I've played and I've seen other people play recently um, have had, I think, Pam's Harvest Craft in them. And also um, a thing where you can only eat so many f foods so often and so on and so forth, so you have to be careful with what you eat. Um, I'm hoping that that's not a feature in this, but if it is, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem where we've spawned, because we shouldn't have any problems getting a variety of food. So what I'm going to do is get myself over to the village, um, find a nice location, and once I've got there, I'll bring you back in. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, people, so here we are, we're back. We've got ourselves into the village. Um, that thing just there kept attacking me, so we need to get some tools sorted as soon as possible, because, uh, yeah, it's pretty dangerous. So, <coughs> <coughs> we just need to eat quickly. Nice sushi. Okay. Right, so we found a little hut that has a chest and it has some things in it already, which is pretty damn excellent, if I do say so, because it um, gives us a bit of storage and also some I think decent sword and iron sword blade at least is a is a good thing. Um what was that? Yeah there's these funny mobs that keep walking around. So I've got to hope that we're safe. And obviously we've also got all of our tinkers um things ready lined up for us. Right, so back to in fact let's before we just go back to the quest, let us just offload some of this stuff in here because we seem to have a bit of a clogged up inventory at the moment. Um, I'm not going to take the compass with me. Uh, I'm just going to make some bread quickly. Oh, this thing's in here as well. Brilliant. I think I might need to make a new chest though, to be honest. So I've got a little bit of bread and let's Get all that down and let's add to the chest because we haven't got enough storage space. Let's break that. Let's dip the chest there. There he is, look. Him outside there. He's a nutter. Look, he's after me. He's waiting for me. He wants me. Okay. Right. So back to this, so let's offload these bits and pieces in here too. Um, now I know from, oops, I know from uh, experience on this that we can cheat this first task because we don't need to make our tools on the tinker's table because it's only the bog standard wooden tools that we need to make. So we're just going to quickly craft those up. It's been such a long time since I've played vanilla Minecraft I had to think hard about these recipes. Couldn't remember them all. Um, what are we missing? We're missing a normal wood axe. So we need some more sticks. And we can do that. And that. And it was a manual submit so I think they are all going to disappear anyway. So quests, initial research, material matters, manual submit and I'm going to take the chain helmet. 
because I want some armor. We've got very little armor at the moment. And um, we'll see the gold coins away. Um, what's the next quest? Next quest is five pieces of cobblestone and a piece of flint. So let us just quickly make some weapons. Um, I'm going to make an iron sword. I think we need. We've got a cross binding for that copper. Iron binding or copper. I think I'll go iron binding. Yeah. Um, I need the tool station. So it's sword. So I've got a wooden stick. Ah, oh, it's not. It's a wide guard. I've got a wide guard. Slime guard, wood guard, slime guard, paper guard. Hmm. I think I'll use the wooden guard. Uh, so it was there. Wooden guard and iron blade. So that's it. we've got an iron sword. We've got that stone pick which we can use, and we've got a stone shovel. Uh, actually, do you know what I might? I think I need to make a Tinker's pickaxe because well, there's a quest that comes up in a second that actually needs us to mine iron and we don't have that facility at the moment so a pick we need the cross binding the tool binding and we had that tool binding didn't we uh, I've got it on me still but we haven't got a pick head whoa 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 the hell red crafting claim so these mobs can open doors that's not good okay um, right I've got some flint so part builder we need to make oh, we need to make some stencils so stencils are that 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 and that, no they're not, whoops, get it right, that's it, and we need, where's the stencil, no, part builder, okay, oh no, get it right, come on Craig, come on, right, stencil table, and we need the pick, okay, right, part builder, Pick head, and we're going to make it from flint because I think flint is easily come by. Put that in the pattern chest, and we'll put the blank patterns in that chest because they won't go in any other chest. And then pick so iron binding, flint head. Need a stick. I've run out of sticks already. Let's just make a few sticks and pop the stick. And there we go. Cool. And I think before we go anywhere, we're just going to make another couple of sticks so that when we find some coal, we can make some torches because we've only got 15 torches on us and they're not going to go far. Put the gravel away, sand away, and wood. Keep the flint. Right, so we need five cobblestone and one. Actually, can I submit that quest with that one piece of. Yes, I can. So I only need five cobblestone. Excellent. Okay. What time of day is it? Okay, right, I'm just going to wait a few minutes, guys, until day breaks, because I'm not really equipped properly at the moment. Once day's broken, I'll bring you back in, and we'll go get that cobblestone. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, day breaks here, and we need to kill this mob. Because <coughs> there's lots of them around. I just want to have a quick look around these other houses just to see if there's any other chests with anything in them who are you yeah you're after me 
you know, the, the mobs that walk around, they look like they're friendly, but they're not. <laughs> Who's that? What the hell? Oh, I've stood in sewage, haven't I? Great. Clever boy. Not. Okay. Any chests? No, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in. Uh, hold on. No, nothing in there. Nothing in that one. There's a dungeon. And I think. That's it, we've looked around the village. Okay. Right, cobblestone. Where's the best way to go? Probably this direction. To get those cobble. Um, I'm going to go in that uh, temple as well in a minute. See if we can find anything. Come on, let's get some cobble. Just a few pieces. We'll kill some um, cows in a minute as well. Right, so I'm going to use this flint pick purely because I, you can't, I don't think you can mine anything else. Let's just see if I can mine this coal with it. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Oh, that's good. So I can mine coal with it, but I bet I can't mine the iron with it. But at least I can make some more torches. And all this time, we're upgrading the pick. So, it's all good. Right, did we get five pieces? Yes, we did. Let's complete the quest. Initial research. Manual submit. And I'm going to take the chain leggings on this one. So, put the leggings on. Next quest, this is where we need the iron and the coal. So I can do the coal already, we just need iron. But I think to do that we have to upgrade our pickaxe. So, before we do anything else, let's have a look. Sorry mate, I'm hungry. I think that um, mod is in here for um, the, the is it morph the morphine mod, um, which I've never really played around with, but um, should give us flight if we choose if we kill the right mob. But I'm not even sure how to use it, so I need to look into that. But let's have a look in here. TNT down here on that pressure plate. So if we stand on that pressure plate, we are in trouble. So let's just break it and see. Yeah, there you go. Load of TNT under there. So watch out for that one, guys. If you don't know, I'm sure. I'm guessing most of you do know, but just in case you don't, watch out if you come into a temple. Right, let's empty these chests. You watch. I bet you I haven't got enough. Space. I'm not even looking at what I'm getting. I'm just taking it all. Uh, please let me have enough space. What can I get rid of? Because I want. I want to take the chests with me. And yes, I know I'm using a pickaxe, but I didn't build an axe, did I? Didn't make an. Oh, get rid of the zombie flesh. There we go, excellent. Right. Let's get you and you. And you. Cool. 
Right. Sandstone. Which will get us back to the top. And we need some smooth sandstone now to get out of there. And let's put the wall back as well. Leave the places we found it all nice. I'll leave that one out so that I know that I've been in here. Okay, right, let's go back out. And. Hmm, wondering what to do. Because we need this iron ore. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to have a quick look around the first layer of this dungeon just to see what's in there. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to. And take those torches and the bread and the apples. Oh, it's lagging so bad. Oh, it really is lagging as well. Okay. Wow. Guys, I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back, guys. <clears throat> I had to um, shut the game down and reopen it because... The, the lag was just uh, it was it was making the game unplayable basically so let us put the chest no chest there let's put those in there let's get rid of all this stuff we're not going to look through it yet we'll have a look through it another another time um got a Common treasure. Ender pearl and ten gold coins. Very good. Let's put all that away. Put our beef away and our dirt and our pressure plate. What's this? Life drain scepter. What does that do? Okay, I'll come back to that in a second. Let's quickly make a few torches. Just it. Just eight torches. Okay, let's have a look at this. What does this scepter do? Life drain. So if I right left click it, it just I don't know what it does. If I right click it, it seems to pull on something. Can I find a mob? I don't know what it does. And I want to try it. Whoa! What happened? What happened? I've upset him. I didn't see what was happening. Oh, he's taking my life now. What was happening? Was it pulling his life out of him? I don't know. Oh, I got stuck in quicksand. Oh, jeez, quicksand, I hate the stuff. Right, and I've got something off him. Joust meat, sounds good. Okay, right, guys, what we are now gonna do, my apologies, we're gonna go down the first level of this dungeon and see what is in store. I'm wondering if this is where I've got the lag. I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Torches at the ready. Because it's very dark. So if you haven't played in these roguelike dungeons before, be warned. Because they are mad places. Really, really crazy. What is that? I'll tell you what it is. It's getting avoided by me. That's exactly what it is. 
Right, we'll go down here first. I can see a spawner down there already. Which we're gonna break with the stone pickaxe because I think that's gonna be faster initially. Let's put torches on the right. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, wow. Uh, Skeletons. And I can't break it quick enough. Ah, me out. Oh, come on. Right, come on down here. Let's have you boys. Okay, that's you. And you. Well, and... Where are you gone? Come here. Come on. You want some? Ha, <laughs> run away scared. Okay, right, let's try and get down to that spawner. Quick. Break. Yes. Okay. Torch. Right, so we'll look at these chests in a minute. I just want to make the exit clear. Good. good. I'm only going to do a little bit of this dungeon because we're going to be running out of time. But I just want to, whoa, I just want to show you the first level. Might as well, why? Why? I'm going to show you what it's going to be like. Got spider's legs. Come on, mate. The spiders are not scary, but there's. it. Excellent. We'll come back to the chests, as I said. Some cake. Okay, so that's this side done. Swap that back around. Uh, has that big thing gone? Oh, it's gone. Is this a side using? Oh, we're getting lag again. Oh, damn it. Oh my. Is he, oh, is this painful? Guys, I'm going to have to pause. I'll be back in a minute. Right, guys, I'm back. Um, we we're dropping right down to like two frames a second, which is... You can't... You can't play it when it's like that because you just don't know what where you're moving to or anything so my apologies for keep pausing on that and it's happening again oh god please don't happen while I'm trying to kill these mobs oh no lag 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 I can't even see I can't see what I'm doing oh no we're going to end up dying here I'm just nowhere yeah, guys. Um, let me sort the lag out. In fact, do you know what? That's I'm going to call at the end of this episode because um, I'm showing. If you can hear me properly, I'm showing up at about two frames a second. It's fluctuating between one, two, and four frames a second, which I can't cope with. So I'm going to have to shut down the whole computer. Um, and start again. We're going to carry on from here. We're going to come back and we're going to get our stuff. Um, but that will be in the second episode. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like uh, if you did and leave some comments. We'd love it if you would subscribe as well to keep uh, track of the videos that I'm now going to be producing on a regular basis. Um, and for the moment, that's it. But have yourselves a great day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.